Iron deficiency anemia is the most common cause of anemia worldwide. Iron deficiency anemia occurs when body does not have enough iron to produce hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is necessary for red blood cells to carry oxygen throughout the body. Talking about the epidemiology of iron deficiency anemia. It is a widespread condition affecting people of all ages and backgrounds, particularly children, pregnant women, and elderly individuals. Causes and risk factors of iron deficiency anemia include poor dietary habits, which include inadequate dietary intake of iron-rich food, pregnancy and breastfeeding, chronic kidney disease and certain medications, which interfere with iron absorption. Iron deficiency anemia signs and symptoms may include extreme fatigue, weakness, pale skin, shortness of breath, headache, dizziness, cold hand and feet, brittle nails, and irregular heartbeat. Iron deficiency anemia is diagnosed by blood tests that should include a complete blood count. Additional tests to evaluate the levels of serum iron include serum ferritin, and total iron binding capacity. Serum ferritin is a measure of the total body iron stores, and low levels suggest iron deficiency anemia. In addition, total iron binding capacity will be increased in iron deficiency anemia. If we talk about the treatment of iron deficiency anemia, the treatment of iron deficiency anemia includes treating the underlying cause, such as gastrointestinal bleeding, and oral iron supplementation. Eating a diet with iron-rich foods can help treat iron deficiency anemia. Good sources of iron include lean meat, fish, beans, green leafy vegetables, and nuts. Iron supplementation should be taken without food to increase absorption because low gastric pH facilitates iron absorption. The usual dose of elemental iron is 100 to 200 mg per day, divided into two or three doses. Ferrous fumarate, ferrous gluconate, and ferrous sulfate are most common forms of oral iron. In the end, you should know that Iron supplementation is needed for at least three months to replenish tissue iron stores. In addition, iron supplementation should be used for at least one month, even after hemoglobin has returned to normal levels. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more amazing content like this. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. You can get this presentation from MediHelp app. It's available for download on both the Google Play Store and Apple App Store. Happy learning!